Hi, so I'm going to show you around our new track, Interstellar Love. Um, it's made by myself, Matt Johnson, and Derek McKenzie. We're the keyboard player and drummer from Jamiroquai. That's our connection, uh, but we just like making music together. And it also features Rocky on vocals. Okay, so I started the track uh, with keyboards. Uh, the very first thing to go down was the Moog One pad. Sounds like this. Then I added uh, Prophet 10. See a couple of little parts there together. Then I added one more Moog One uh, lead line. So all together, they're a nice little vibe. Okay, next to go down, Moog bass. Uh, uh, this is a mini Moog Model D bass, my favorite kind of sound. So there's your bass. Uh, and on top of that, I had a little arpeggiator going. Uh, I can't remember which synth I used. And it's been side-chained by a kick drum or something, and you can hear it pumping. So basically, I did this stuff. I got all the music together, and then I sent it off to Derek, and he put this beat to it. He also kind of tidied up the keyboards. I'd, I'd done loads of keyboards. He sort of whittled it down to a few less, which was really nice. Put a bit of a form on it. Uh, and then we had the basic track. Um, I'd also done an outro uh, initially when I first did the vibe because I just wanted it to go into another section. So I had a different bass coming in at the end uh, doing this. It's the uh, Mini Moog Model D again, but I've got a like a phasey reverb on it as well. Which is quite sweet. And then the Fender Rose is padding underneath it. As you can hear there. So that was the other section. So real nice solid sounding drums. Uh, they're made up of quite a few different components. Um, I think there's live playing in there. Then there's, uh, you know, obviously programming. It's mostly programmed stuff. Uh, the main loop sounds like this. There's another loop here as well. Different frequency. Uh, and there's a filtered loop. I've got some phasery stuff going on there, it's really cool. And there's also some live drum fills. Which is obviously Derek playing live on top of it, so that sounds great. This is what we started out with. So I just had this line, I think. That's all I had. That's uh, Rocky, who's also my wife. So it's quite convenient when I want to track some vocals. <laughs> she came in, she's got a fantastic tone. So I always layer up three or four tracks of her vocals. This is just a bounce of that. Uh, sounds really nice. And then I came back after sort of Derek had sent me back the stems and completed the chorus. So that's the basic chorus, uh, and it was like that for quite a while um, until I could think of a verse. The way I tend to do vocals is I'll just get uh, Rocky in and 
I'll just sing her a line. And because she's got quite an inspiring sounding voice, it, I just get on a vibe and I go, oh yeah, okay, sing that line. She hates it because I get really bossy. She sings it back to me, then I write the next line and we do it like that. As, as we're recording, we're writing it. Uh, I was kind of in my head when we were doing this track. I had uh, the idea of the Ra Band. Um, there's a track called Clouds, Clouds Across the Moon, which I had one of these like best of compilations when I was a teenager. And it's a super cheesy track, but there was something about it that really got me, you know, made me emotional. I think it was the naivety of the vocal, the female vocal. Uh, so I wanted to get that kind of feeling from this track, slightly naive kind of sounding. Uh, so I came up with this verse. To make it more intimate sounding, I made it sound like she's on the phone, you know, because it's, it's a cliche, but it just makes you feel you're close to that voice. Um, so we got that bit, and then I wanted some Japanese. So, uh, my wife is Japanese, so she uh, spoke some Japanese. can't remember what the lyrics meant. It was something like dreaming, searching, hoping, these kind of lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds quite crazy. So obviously I, I pitched them down an octave. I think I had a delay going through Alter Boy or something like that. So it pitched it down an octave and you got that interesting effect. And we added a few extra things like uh, vocoder. Where's the vocoder? Also, I forgot about these paddy strings. I think I did them on the Oberheim OBX. <laughs> Nice, get that real tension going, that high string and those kind of slightly mysterious sounding chords which are very warm sounding. There's a lot of analogue synths of this track. Yeah, so when me and Derek got together, we added some of these things like this. Always a good laugh getting the vocoder out. That sounded nice. Uh, and I also added some clav. That's just uh, like a clav going for a wah wah into my space echo, Roland space echo. Sounds like this in the track. Nice live drum fill there you can hear as well. So it gives it that more organic vibe, even though it's an electronic track, there's a lot of human stuff going on. Uh, Prophet 5, what's this do? That's just me jamming around on the Prophet, um, and again, it's going through a lot of reverb. I think I might use the hologram microcosm, and it's being uh, side-chained again. Oh yeah, we've got this bass as well. Again, it's the mini Moog going through a reverb. And there's something else here, what's this? Ah uh, yeah, this is uh, another uh, Fender Rhodes. It's actually done on my vintage vibe. As I said, that the whole idea with the track was to make it dreamy, really, and just kind of vibey. I think it's been a good combination of me and Derek's skills and um, beautiful vo vocals, obviously, by Rocky. There you go. So that's the track. Um, please go and download it.